नमस्कार माय नेम इज सुदशील घोष एंड वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल आई एम टीचिंग टिंकर कैड ऑन यूट्यूब टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी एन एग्जांपल ऑफ हाउ टू यूज अ लाइट इवेंटर रजिस्टर टू टेक इनपुट्स फॉर द आर्डिनो ओके सो दैट्स व्हाट वी आर गोइंग टू डू सो लेट अस बिगिन सो वी आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट आवर सर्किट okay so we will need our breadboard first sorry we will need our breadboard there you are we will take our breadboard we will bring our arduino here and we will need to do the connections very carefully okay and next we are going to use the photo register yeah and uh, we will also take a let us suppose for example a light bulb okay fine so i'm using a light bulb because it's easier to see the intensity of the light which is coming out of the bulb but uh, in uh, in reality you should use an led the light bulb will require a more voltage to glow okay so this light bulb is easier to see so that's why i'm using the light bulb fine so how to first of all connect the ldr the this is the ldr we have to connect the ldr to the arduino now we have to take the signal input from the arduino now you have seen other sensors where there is one vcc there is one ground and there is one signal so basically if you see the potentiometer the potentiometer here okay so if the potentiometer has one terminal 1 then there is a wiper and there is a terminal 2 this is also a resistance but there are three terminals in the potentiometer however on the other hand when we are using the register it has got only two terminals so how can i use this particular register to take inputs or take inputs to for the arduino how do i do this so let us first of all see what we need the background information is that we will need to use sketch of law okay so what we'll do is we will put the register here okay so let us put the register in a very comfortable position okay then what we are going to do is we are going to connect the 5 volt line let us connect the 5 volt line to the breadboard okay fine no problem here we are going to connect the 5 volt line to the breadboard there you are and we are going to connect the ground line of course the ground line to the red board here good fine so first of all we'll try to see whether the sensor whether the sensor this photo resistor can give input to the arduino with two terminals so we will connect one of the terminals with the ground so one of the terminals is connected to the ground and the other terminal we are going to connect to the 5 volt line fine right? so now if i connect this to the ground this is connected to the 5 volt line that make does not make sense so what we'll do is we'll connect this particular terminal to the a0 right and then we will try to read the a0 okay so let us try to do that so let us see whether it reads the signals or not so we will create one variable So let us create one variable. The variable name is photo, 
and we are going to put this here and we are going to take the input so we are going to say read analog pin okay and we are going to say set auto to the read analog pin so we have set the variable the value of the variable we have set and now we are going to take a printout so the printout will be sent to the serial monitor and instead of hello world we will put the photo there good so let us see what happens with the serial monitor if i run the simulation if zero is coming and if i increase zero is coming if i decrease zero is coming which effectively means that this particular connection is not working so i have told you now this is not the correct way to connect the LDR to the Arduino. This is not the correct way. So what is the correct way? Good. So what we'll do is, let us remove this connection. Let us also remove this connection. So let's of all, what we are going to do now, first thing, is we are going to connect one terminal to the pipe board line of course that's okay and one terminal to the ground and the same terminal to the A0 okay so this terminal is not only going to go to the ground but also it will go to A0 okay let us try to do that okay so what what I do is I take from here, take here, I have connected this to the ground and what I am going to do also is we are going here and we are going here and we are going here and we have connected to A0. Okay, so this I have done. And what about the other terminal? The other terminal I am going to collect go here and I am going to connect it to the 5 volt line. Let us see if this works. So we will open the code, run the simulation and as soon as we run as the simulation, we also see that it does not work. Okay, fine. So there is something which is wrong. It is something which is not working. So what has happened here? Let me see very clearly. See, one of the terminals is connected to the power line, that's okay. But here, if I connect like this, it means that they are at the same potential. This particular A0 line and this particular ground is at the same potential, which means that there will be no signal. Okay. So, what if I want the signal? So, in case I want the signal, I have to do something which is a bit different. Okay. Of course, this other terminal is going to connect to the ground. But what I'm going to do is not connect it directly to the ground. We will use a resistor. And then we will connect it to the ground. So the resistor is connected to the ground. And what I am going to do now is connect this particular terminal to the signal. Okay. So what we have done? We have taken this particular wire from here and connected to A0. And we have also connected this particular uh, slot to the ground. Once we have done that, what will happen here? This basically means that we are setting up a parallel connection. We are setting up a parallel connection. The higher the resistance, so we will see, we will try to vary the resistance and see what kind of change it does in the value 
which is collected by A0. Let us try to do that. Fine. So, open this and let us run the simulation. And uh, we are going to see that now the values are coming. Because we have used the resistor, the values are coming. Okay. So, let us suppose what we are seeing is that the values are maximum up to 679 okay so we'll stop the simulation and try to increase the resistance we are having one kilo ohm so let us try to increase it to five kilo ohm let us see what happens does the value increase or decrease let's start the simulation start the simulation here let us try to increase the value here and we are getting 929 very interesting we are getting 929 okay so that means this particular value this particular value of the resistance has to increase so if i increase the resistance more current will flow through the resistor and less current more current is going to flow through the photoresistor and lesser current is going to flow through the this particular resistor. Why this is happening? Because of Kirchhoff's law. Current will take the path which has got lesser resistance. That is what the understanding is. So, if I increase this resistance still more, the values will be still more higher. So, let us verify whether it is correct or not. So, let us increase this to say for example 10 kilo ohm and we'll again start the simulation and what we are seeing now here is there you are it has increased some value here 974 so from 949 to 974 we have been able to increase so if i increase the resistance sufficiently more current will flow through the resistor and more the values are going to come close to 1023. Now let us take this signal and redirect it. We are going to redirect it to the bulb. Remember that. Now if I want to redirect it to the bulb, what we have to do? If I want to change something, change the intensity, how what is the mechanism of changing the intensity? First of all, we have to connect one of the terminals to the ground that's that definitely clear so we have to connect one of the terminals to the ground how do i do that we just take one wire from here connect to the ground the other connection has to come from a pwm pin so the pwm pin is here you see these pins are pwm pins these 9 10 11 etc these are pwm pins so we are going to take one connection here and connect it to the other terminal so we are going to do this and come here and let us connect to say d11 okay so my 11 number terminal is connected to the other terminal of the bulb okay so the bulb has two terminals here so one terminal is connected to the ground the other terminal is connected to the pwm pin and now what we are going to do is let us code did good this properly so whatever be the value we have to map it between 0 to 205 255 why because this is an 8 bit pin so we have to map another value so we have to create another value here we'll create okay so let us say map photo so we have created map photo and what we are going to do is use the math there is this map 0 to range 0 to 150 okay so what we are going to map we are going to map the photo fine we are going to map the value of photo from 0 to 255 why 255 it is what we call as the 8 bit maximum value okay 255 is 8 bit maximum value now what we are going to do we are going to redirect this value 
to the pin number 11 okay so now what we are going to do output set pin value here so we are going to set pin the value and now we are going to okay so what we'll do is let us see this we we'll set new value okay to this particular one okay so therefore map photo is set to a new value and now we are going to set pin which pin it is pin number 11 to which value this map photo value all right so if i do this start the simulation and as we have started the simulation if i increase the value here the intensity changes okay if i decrease the value the intensity is going to decrease so we have been able to explain how we can connect a two terminal ldr sensor or ldr register or a photo register to an arduino board to take the input signal and then redirect that signal to the bulb now what would happen if this is happening okay what would happen why am i using this circuit we can create an ambient light by using this ldr now what is happening is if you look at this particular connection what is happening is this is the dark position and this is the brighter position okay now this is the dark and this is the brighter now so that means it is not making any sense for when it is brighter the intensity of the bulb should be lesser when it is darker the intensity should be brighter so what we are going to do is we are going to inverse this so we are here 0 to 255 so why why not we can say 255 to 0 we just do it the other way now let us start the simulation and we are seeing full intensity here and as the light increases the intensity is going to decrease so i'm just telling you a technique of doing how to design an ambient light system okay in case you want to design a smart room this is what we call as an ambient light system the light will be as per the intensity of the sunlight or daylight which is available outside i hope you have understood how we can connect this thank you for attending my session i will stop the simulation now if you are new to my channel please like share and subscribe if you are a repeating visitor please tell others to also see my channel so that they can also learn